Manchester United out of the Europa League, 2 1 defeat to Sevilla in the semi final. Abysmal is probably the, the best word I can use to sum up that overall performance. The defending for the first goal, the defending for the second goal, the basics throughout the whole 90 minutes, the finishing from United, from Martial, from Rashford, from Greenwood, from everybody. Poor. United going out tonight to Sevilla, not because we didn't have the opportunities, not because we didn't have the grasp of the game, but because in those key moments, United failed and Sevilla took their chances. The first goal, breakaway 1-2, Wan-Bissaka caught out of position, can't get him back, Williams not covering his man, Suzo buries it. And that was after we got the penalty, and it was a penalty, and what, what fucking amazing penalty that was from Bruno Fernandes, but it means naff all. It means nothing because United did not capitalise on that. Going out in that second half, first 10, 15 minutes, we were all over Sevilla. And you're just watching it going, please, United, score. Because you know what's going to happen. And it did happen. Sevilla went up the other end, ball over from the, up, I don't know who it was, De Jong in the middle, in between Lindelof and wan six yards out, unmarked, strokes it past De Gea. United losing 2-1 to Sevilla. And I wouldn't say we deserve to lose. I think overall we deserve to win in terms of the opportunities we created, but we didn't deserve to win because of how crap that defending was, of how crap that finishing was. And a big thing that we saw there tonight was the ultimate example that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer does not trust this Manchester United squad. He trusts that Manchester United starting eleven, but he does not trust that bench. So much so that he waited until the 86th minute to bring on Mata, who didn't really have enough opportunity or time to change the game. He took off Rashford finally. Rashford was in such, having such a poor game and has been in such bad form. But Solskjaer clearly doesn't trust Dan James or Juan Mata or Odi Nogalo or Jesse Lingard anywhere near enough to think that they are going to change the game. He would rather run out a set of 11 players who were exhausted and dead on their feet than bring those players off on from the Brent story. And that's a big message, I think, to the board. And this, I, I said it, look, I said that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has, could have taken this team as far as he possibly could if United won the Europa League. We can't do that now. But I, that, what we've seen there, what we've seen this season is the peak of where this United team can go under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer unless the right reinforcements come in this summer and this squad and team is improved because that, that start 11 there is fantastic. But we need someone like Jaden Sancho in there. We need to be able to rotate players like Rashford and Greenwood and not play them for 90 minutes every game when they're exhausted and out of form like Rashford is. You need more players in midfield. You don't see Liverpool fans saying that they don't want to sign Thiago. When you're on top, you sign more. And that's what United need to do in all the key positions. And that game tonight just summed up the issues that still exist in this squad. The starting eleven has some fucking fantastic talent in. And that front three of Greenwood, of Rashford and Martial is exciting as hell. But when it's not working and you're off form, Solskjaer doesn't have the options from the bench that he trusts enough. Look, you could say that Mata changed the game against Copenhagen and he did. And I don't really know why he didn't actually take Mata, bring Mata on, sorry, for Rashford earlier. I think Solskjaer could have certainly made his subs earlier than he did, but he didn't because he doesn't trust them. And I don't trust his United squad. To, if we're going to close this gap to Liverpool and City, which is, look, the Europa League, it doesn't change anything for the scope of our season. We're in the Champions League next year. The hard work was done against Leicester on the last day of the season. This trophy was more important for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as a manager as it was for United as a team because it would have been his first trophy as a United manager and a major European one at that, but it's not going to happen. It's, the chance is gone and it's all United's own undoing. Poor defending, both goals, poor finishing. Five, six, seven, eight shots maybe that could have been just slightly better, smarter finishes. And we had the time to do so, but we didn't all straight the goalkeeper. I don't think he had anywhere near as good a game as Copenhagen's goalkeeper did. But look, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. I'm rubbing my eyes. I'm scratching my head. We had so many opportunities there. We had enough to win that game, but we didn't. And I think the biggest takeaway that I think we should all take from this game is if we really genuinely think that we can just walk into the Champions League next year with this team and play Chelsea on a on a Sunday and then play Bayern Munich on a on a 
on a Tuesday and then play Liverpool on a Saturday, we haven't got the strength of the squad for that. To play in the elite levels of competition against the elite teams and when you get to the wars and knockout stages, those fixtures always start to pile up. We need quality in this squad so Solskjaer can continue to rotate this team and not have a starting 11 he trusts in, but an entire squad. Signings have to be made. Tonight showed it again. Showed weaknesses, I think, in Solskjaer's management in terms of not trusting the squad enough. But it, I don't know. You could argue chicken or the egg. Is it blah, 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 blah. Are the players are just not good enough. <sighs> Fuck knows. We've gone out. 2-1 defeat to Sevilla. We shouldn't have. Poor defending. That's uh, probably the main headline. Is just a tragically bad defending that was. Terrible finishing. United's own undoing. Season's over. Bring on the transfers, bring on the signings, because this squad needs it if we're going to have any chance in the Champions League next year and the Premier League in China get towards Liverpool and City, which is our ambition at the moment. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But United getting dumped out by Sevilla, who hopefully will go on to win the Europa League because they bloody love the Europa League. But really, 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 really disappointing from United tonight. And all our own undoing. Bad defending and bad finishing.